Warning, this video contains clips and excerpts of a humorous nature not normally found in math class. These are intended to fight the adolescent condition known as short attention span, found heavily in the modern teen, especially when in school. The only thing you should attempt at home is the math. The rest, you just laugh at. Welcome back to another installment of AT Math. Today we're going to discover 3-2, solving inequalities by adding or subtracting. Why it's more fun than taking the cinnamon challenge. You just take it, and I guess you count to 10, or you take it, and I don't know. All right, so here's the cinnamon, all right? All right, here go. We'll get back to Glozell later. For right now, let's get back to the lesson. All right, so what we have here, we've already covered this part, which is if you have 2x plus 13 is less than 21. First thing we want to do is get rid of the plus 13 because the idea is to get 2x by itself. So instead of plus 13, we're going to minus 13. Minus 13 on one side, got minus it to the other. So you minus 13 over here, and you minus 13 over here. This cancels out, leaving just 2x, and over here, you have less than 8. Why 8? Because you have 21 minus 13. Now the next step is to just get x by itself. So instead of times 2, we're going to divide by 2. Divide 2 on one side, we divide 2 on the other. So we cancel those out, and you get x is less than 4. Remember, less than means you have an open circle. Less than means you're going to have an open circle going to the left side here. Say anything less than me is fine. I'm not actually a part of it. So you have that. Now take a look at this. So the only new thing is this here, not to have x on this side. So we'll start out with a typical problem. 14 is greater than x plus 7. Well, all right. The x is on the other side this time. So we start as normal. So we'll go ahead and say plus 7 to both sides. Well, we already have plus 7. So the opposite of plus 7 is minus 7. Minus 7 on one side, minus 7 on the other. Let's drop it down to C. Notice how I have 7 on this side and only x is remaining. Well, now what? Well, here's how I think of it. If 7 is greater than x, well, then the x must be less than 7. So we'll switch like this. If 7 is greater than x, that means x is less than 7, so I switch, switch, and the sign switches. Because if 7 is greater than x, then x is greater than 7. So we simply switch it now to x is less than 7, which is open at 7 to the left. You try. Go ahead and pause. Pause it. Hopefully you've had a chance to pause it by now. If not, you're kind of slow. So, let's go ahead and get x by itself here. Instead of plus 12, let's minus 12. Minus 12 on one side, minus 12 on the other. Let's go ahead and see. I got 20 is greater or equal to x. However, I want to get x on the left side, so I'm going to switch, switch, and switch. x switches, 20 switches, sign switches. Now, x is less or equal to 20. Ooh, looks like I made a small error there. Because it's less or equal to, it should be going that direction. There we go. So we'll save that for posterity there. All right, x is less or equal to 20, just like you see. Now. Next, you can follow along on page 176. Yay, a word problem. Why more fun than punching a roadside that punches back like this. <laughs> Not the way to go. So, the memory in Tania's camera phone allows her to take up to 20 pictures. Tania has already taken 16 pictures. Write, solve, and graph an inequality to show how many more pictures Tania could take. Well, we see here... I have x because that's how many pictures I can take. I don't know how many left I can take, but I can take so many. I know I've taken 16 already. I can take all this can be less or equal to 20. Remember, 20 at most, which means you can take less, but you can't take more because you don't have enough film. So, of course, this is back in the day when, you know, you had a certain number to a camera. Now, with digital cameras and whatnot, you have until your memory goes out, but whatever. So you have 16 you've done already. You can have a max of 20. What you do instead of plus 16, minus 16. Minus 16 on one side, minus 16 on the other. X is left, X is less than 4. You go ahead and try. Your pickup truck can carry 1,200 pounds in the truck bed. You currently have 350 pounds in the back. How much more can you load? Go ahead and pause at this time. Paused? 
Hope so. Let's see what you got. Did you get this? I minus 350 to both sides. X is less or equal to 850. And that's it. We're going to be done. See you next time. Bye.